So they hit us pretty hard, and uh, my men did a good job, but it was a tough night, it really was. I cleared a punchy pit, got in the bottom of that. I had two men on my left, my radio man, and then I had Johnson and Jennings, Corberubius to my right. And then back behind, we had a bomb crater, big old bomb crater, 2,000 pound bomb had gone off. And I had men around the edges of that, the rest of my men. And we all just had different positions on the hill to defend as long as we could. We knew they were coming, it was just a matter of time. They actually beat sticks together and chanted for two straight nights. And then they got deathly silent that night. And I knew they were coming, it was just a matter of time. And they hit us about midnight. And um, that's when it all started. A lot of grenades came in, but one came right next to me and Johnson jumped on it and covered it. So he gave me my life. So I guess I've dedicated my life to trying to go to high schools and football teams and colleges and all over the world. And I just thank young people for giving me what it takes for our freedom and our way of life. And, and I owe him my life. And I've just tried to dedicate my life to thanking other men like you for what he did for me. And I don't, I don't know what else you can do with it. To me, duty means uh, basically like the military. Their duty is to protect our country and our duty is to provide for them. Duty means to me is your sacrifice that you may make for your country or your job. I mean, sacrifice means the way we get those things done. Uh, sometimes sacrifice means putting in the hours that it takes, coming in as, as required, going the extra mile recognizing those things that have to get done every day to make sure that we meet all of our commitments. Uh, it's not always easy to do, but that's, that's what sacrifice is. I think they'd be proud of what they're building and, and, and the use and to defend this country and our freedom and our free enterprise system and the way of life that we have and enjoy in America. And if they knew the kind of man that, that the ship's gonna be named after and had fought with him and served with him, I think they'd be really proud in their work. It'd mean a lot knowing that a Congressional Medal of Honor winner took and laid his life on the line and that they're honoring him with his sacrifice. I think every ship that has a namesake, they have that namesake to look up to. And no matter what they did throughout our, you know, our history, that crew and that captain and those officers, they look up to that namesake and they try to make that their, their motto. When I think of Ralph Johnson, I like to think of the fact that people don't always realize what an impact they have on other people's lives, and sometimes they never find out. Well, certainly a lot of the sacrifices the military makes are indescribable, uh, but there are a lot of parallels. We, uh, we spend a lot of time away from our family, spend a lot of time in this yard, we spend a lot of time dedicated to something bigger than ourselves. When you go out on the ship, walk the Afghan plank, you see that name, you're reminded of what you're doing and who you're doing it for. Uh, that name is tied to a sacrifice far beyond anything we make. It means that I'm building a product that the military is gonna use and be put out there for them to be able to keep them safe and help them do their sacrifice like I did mine. They've decided to give their service to our country just as Ralph Johnson did. That they are serving their country, they're keeping us all safe, They'll help people in need, and every man and woman on the ship can be so proud that they're going to be a part of Ralph Johnson's legacy.